a major step forward in that roughly $1 trillion bipartisan infrastructure bill. That's the bill focused on roads, bridges, clean water, and broadband. The vote yesterday passing a key milestone in the process toward a formal Senate debate. And our D.C. correspondent, Bofta Imam, joins us now to tell us everything we need to know. Bofta, good morning. Just a few days ago, this bill looked like it was collapsing, looked like it wasn't going to make it. What things got like what thing what got things back on track? Good morning, Lauren. What we know is that Senate GOP negotiators work to salvage this deal by working with the White House, coming to an agreement with the administration and also with Senate Democrats over the major issues in this bill. The vote was 67 to 32. And I want to point out, this comes after weeks of negotiating and, as you mentioned, almost on the brink of collapse. 17 Republicans did end up yesterday joining Democrats and voting in favor of moving forward on it. Democrats are set on the bill being the first of a pair of packages. The second bill would be that $3.5 trillion so-called human infrastructure package. It's designed to help with things like Medicare expansion and universal child care and would require a simple majority to pass. But Republicans oppose, oppose that bill. As for this sudden infrastructure vote Wednesday, it marks a win for bipartisanship. Mr. President, I want to commend the group of senators who worked with President Biden to reach an agreement on a bipartisan infrastructure bill. The Senate has just come together and in a strong bipartisan fashion voted to begin the legislative process here on the Senate floor. For the past few months, I have laid out a two-track strategy on infrastructure, a bipartisan bill focused on traditional brick and mortar infrastructure projects and a budget reconciliation bill where Democrats plan to make historic investments in American jobs, American families, and efforts to fight climate change. In order to start work on, the reconcili on a reconciliation bill, the Senate must pass a budget resolution first. This infrastructure package has that permitting reform. There will be less money for bureaucrats and attorneys, and there will be more money for construction. What a major advance. By the way, some people have confused this bill with the $3.5 trillion Democrat tax and spend extravaganza. They are two different bills. This bill is for roads and bridges and broadband and resiliency, flood control and coastal restoration. The other is for who knows what. Rules require 60 votes to proceed and pass this bill, so Lauren, they would need support from both parties. And both, I think people are looking at that, that price tag, that $1 trillion. Any idea of how they're going to pay for this bill? Right. We know that that was something within the negotiations. They were looking at the IRS department. They've been looking at gas taxes. They really have been looking at a variety of things. What we know right now with this current version, what is possible is they may be looking at $200 billion in unspent COVID relief funds, also recouping about $50 billion potentially in fraudulently uh, uh, paid unemployment benefits. So those are some of the ideas being tossed around. Again, nothing has been finalized, and this is truly the first step. Even getting the final text of this bill has not happened yet. Both as always, thank you so much, Bofta Yimam, with the latest from Washington. Thank you so much. We will see you again.